All right. Y'all want me to start? We are champions. <laughs> uh, it was a, a hard part game. They came in knowing that we had to play defense today. And uh, it's been kind of our identity, the, the second part of the season, defense. And the defense won us games. And, you know, today the defense won us a regular season championship. And we're going to continue ride that defensive rate wave um, in everything we do. And when we head down to Texas, we're going to do the same thing. You mentioned the defense, and early on you guys kind of had trouble scoring and getting going on the offensive end, but I mean, defensively you guys were still strong, especially that first quarter you guys had forced nine turnovers and definitely set the tone. So what was kind of that like defensively coming out strong like you did? Yeah, well, we know, we know that when our shots are not falling, falling, our defense really turns us around, and we had 23 points off 28 turnovers. So we knew that would get us back in the column, the, the scoring column, and they they stepped it up. We also had 22 fast break points. <laughs> you mentioned the fast break points. I mean, that's been a key for you guys is like turning your defense into offense and scoring on, on those fast breaks. I mean, you guys did that like really well tonight. And like, how can you kind of build off of that going into next week down in Fort Worth? Well, you know, we've got to continue to play tough defense. And then, you know, that defense against some teams turns them over. And, uh, you know, we've got to continue to harp on the defense and turning people over. And when you have live ball turnovers, you can sprint out in a fast break. I know I asked you this on Sunday, but it feels like this is the best stretch for T Mac kind of all season, this last four or five games. Can you just talk about what you've been seeing out of her lately? Yeah, I mean, she was six for seven from three today. And you know what I said last week is every time she shoots the ball, we think it's going in. She spends lots of hours in the gym and working on her shot. And uh, she's been confident at knocking them down. For Aliyah and Demi, what does this night mean for you? Like, like the championship, but also senior night. I mean, what were the kind of the emotions going into today and kind of after as well? Mm -hmm. Aliyah? I mean, it's a very special day. Last game in Leah course. Family got to be here and watch, and a regular season championship. Like, you can't ask for anything more. I'm super grateful. Couldn't have said it better. I mean, good game. Got another stretch out in Fort Worth, so. Well, I tried to No, I, I didn't know what I wanted to say. I was like, you got another stretch she was another game. Game. before the game. I was definitely boo hooing. She was boo hooing. Yeah. Shoot around. Yeah, yeah. Down. Was boo hooing and shoot around. Locker room looks nice. Because I know I, I when do you, uh, you guys were doing the senior night honoring, I saw you, Coach Rich, when Aliyah was walking, you were telling her, don't cry, like, as she was walking down. I mean, wh what does this mean, like, for you, like, with your relationship with Aliyah, like, getting a win and it being a regular season title on that final night with her? Yeah, well, she always acts like she's tough, but she's a big crybaby. And so she's been crying all day, and I didn't want her to take that emotion into the game, so I told her, do not cry. <laughs> But our relationship is very special. And um, so I knew she was going to cry, but I knew we had to help hold it together. And, you know, this is not the last time I'm going to see her anyway. So uh -oh. she'll be 60, and I'll be 63. And oh, we'll you'll have that yeah. relationship for years for <laughs> Uh, for Leah or T, I mean, obviously, last you still have more to accomplish this season. But just talk about a year ago, eight players. This seems pretty dramatic, and here you guys are a year later. Can you just talk about from your perspective in the locker room, the just the change over the last year for you guys? The energy is just different in the locker room. Um, little funny story, actually, it was we were in Fort Worth last year, last year around this time, something like that, and um, we were getting asked the same question. It was a completely different feeling of like. You know, we're just really honestly just tired of hearing about like us having eight people and, you know, just like trying to battle in every game and things like that. So it's just a different feeling and like definitely more close knit team this year and just having more weapons and more people just makes things a lot easier. So a lot more fun this year. Oh, yeah. The one thing last year, though, was when you were struggling, you're only even four of the roster. You know, you kind of said it's going to turn around. Yeah. Yeah. And it did, it, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, um, just trusting Coach Rich um, and each other, knowing that like during the summer we definitely took time to get better in our own game, helping each other out too. Um, so yeah, and I knew I knew it wasn't going to be like that last year, and I, especially knowing how Coach Rich is. You know, like we like to win, and that's exactly what we brought to this program. 
and coach can you speak on that just the last year it feels like you set a lot more higher expectations for this team this season than maybe you did last season that maybe helped as well well you know when you're bringing them all together especially with us bringing in new players with with talent uh, i knew that we had a strong team and we had a talented team and once we put that all together and they learned to play with each other, I knew we would be special. And, uh, you know, last year we didn't meet expectations, um, but this year we certainly did and we still have more to go. Uh, for, for Coach, you, you talk about just coming in tonight, you're playing a team at FAU, who's not having a great season, but you come into the game knowing that you have to win in order to get that trophy in. Just not letting it get too much and not like just uh, taking them lightly. Talking about just coming in and yeah. being able to finish. Well, FAU has been doing well lately, so yeah. they are, you know, they won, I think, six out of the last eight or so. But yeah. they've done a good job, and Jennifer has done a great job with them. But we wanted to make sure that um, we did what we were supposed to do and not depend on anybody else. They came in with nothing to lose. And we've been in that position before, and that's how we got where we are today. Um, people just not thinking that we could be where we were. And we scratched and we clawed and we moved up because we had nothing to lose. And for the next game you're gonna play, it's gonna be on Monday. Obviously, you don't know who you're playing yet, but it's not that long of a break. I mean, you guys have played, taken five days off pretty much. That's just like a regular break during the season. But you're gonna be playing a team who did play a game uh, more recently than you did. You talked about just staying ready off that break and playing a team that's coming in pretty warm. Yeah, well, we know that we're not done. And so we're not going to slack up. We're not going to take it easy because this is the tournament and everybody's going to bring their best. So, um, you know, we played three games in six days last week. So we are going to prepare and prepare like we always have. And Coach, can you talk about Rain's performance? Because I just seemed like she was all around the ball defensively. Four, I think it was like four skills, three blocks, whatever that those yeah. stats were. It was really impressive tonight. Yeah, she really, really stepped up and played. Again, these seniors were, were up for this game, and the teammates were up for this game because we wanted to go out. And it was more so about our seniors than it was for the championship. And so because we have that kind of bond, like playing for each other. And we didn't want them to go out um, with a loss in Leah Course, their last game in Leah Course. And Rain, I mean, Rain and Demi and, and Kendall and, and Bean, I mean, they just Denise. stepped up. And Denise, yeah. And they just stepped up. They, they enjoyed playing in Leah Course. And so they wanted to leave it with a, a great memory, a lasting memory. And, and they all stepped up. Have you always had that tradition? Have you always had that tradition of starting the seniors on senior night and when, when that, you know, when yes. that? Yes, I always have. I, I mean, because we honor our seniors. They put in time and effort, and I want them to be able to perform in front of their family. Some of, some of them, family has not been able to see them play, and uh, it's great for them to be able to play in front of their family. And we saw their families and grandparents and uncles and aunts, and that's a great feeling for them to be able to do that. Coach, you kind of mentioned like scratching and clawing and proving people wrong. And to start the season, you guys were kind of, you know, projected to finish like middle of the, the table, middle of the conference. What does it mean to, you know, kind of, you know, be where you are now compared to what, you know, people may have thought you would would have been at the start of the season? Yeah, well, we've set our own plans. And uh, I've never, I've never paid attention to rankings ever because that limits you. And if we thought that we were uh, nine, nine, you ranked number nine, then we wouldn't try harder. So, you know, I never pay attention to ratings and, and they don't either. So we knew we had to prove something and prove that we were a good team. For any one of you guys, this is the first time in like over a decade that you guys or the team has finished like with a regular season championship. How does it feel knowing that you guys like etched yourselves in like temple history and like people were into this team? I'm excited for the future. I mean, this is just the beginning. Um, Coach Rich, I know, is going to do her job and get the best kids in here. So I'm excited to come back and continue to see the progression and the growth of Temple Women's Basketball. Like like you said, we're just scratching the surface. This program has so much potential, especially under Coach Rich. So. Going off that, did any of the players just describe the feeling on the court after they were celebrating the championship for the regular season? It was, like, surreal. Like, I don't know. I'm 
fun. We deserve it. Yeah. We deserve it, yeah. Yeah, it was a good feeling. Thank you. You guys good? All right. Thanks so much. Go out. Go out. Thanks so much.